Hi Ruth here. This is a shout out Sunday number 21 and hopefully this will be on time this time. So let's let's get into it. I have like a whole load of people to shout out this time. Um, let's see. Should I just get into it? Yeah, let's do it. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm reading off the list now. Um, Poke G dash world. June River, as always, as well as the Dark Magician 81. Uh, Mingtube. Pokemon Collector is, I think, a new one. Then there's Surprise Hunters. Pokemon Square is a new one, I know. So is Getty Images. Great. Great guy. Channel thing. Yeah. Check them out. Well, technically, you gotta check all of them out. But, yeah, you get what I'm saying. Um, gotta collect them all. You should also check out our pack battle that we did this last week or two days ago. The days blend together. Um, and also, in relation to Gotta Catch Em All, shout out to Mr. Stocks. Um, random Gaming Gamer, Casual Collector, and Umbreon's TCG. So now, the following people I either bought from, like on Instagram, or won something from them recently. Sorry if I miss anybody, I kind of update the list as I go along. So so we have Jay the Pokemon Lover. I've bought quite a lot from her. She's a great person to buy from, a great person in general. Check out her Instagram. Um D Tree Pokemon was the one of the giveaway wins, I believe. Uh Pokemon Trader UK 2017. Uh, 614 underscore collectibles was a giveaway one, I think. Pretty sure. Uh, xsvanessa.xo was also a giveaway one. And Kanto underscore collectibles, which I did buy from. Uh, he will be in the Poking Hall, uh, Instagram, um, number six. So, that I haven't finished putting all getting all stuff together for that yet, but I thought I might as well just put them on there. Um, well, speaking of putting them on there, I might as well also shout out to Pokemon John, or underscore John. He will, uh, be on a video of him all on his, uh, lonesome with the, the haul I bought from him. Um, sorry, I'm just adding it to the list so I don't forget later. Um, if anyone else wants a shout out, please leave a comment below and I will put you on the list. Um, if you want to be shout out your channel, I'll automatically, you know, put them in the list as you see in the description box. Or you can comment a different channel or different social media like Twitter or Instagram you know, stuff like that, you want me to shout out, I just, you know, give me the link and I'll put it in my description box. Um, or, as what I've been doing, comment twice, at least from this video upload to the next shout out video, which will be in another two weeks. Um, you can send a link to your social media page below or you know comment it if you want to do that too uh since the email below is the one i made for youtube stuff only i guess it does google and stuff too but you know what i'm saying um let's see shall we get to those uh i guess i actually didn't say this earlier did I? so huge thank you for all of those who have newly subscribed like they're like what five subscribers yesterday or something and i'm gonna sneeze um wait uh nope you passed okay um so thank you all for those of you who have commented as well uh on my video consistently yeah you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying um i guess i guess some announcements i am going to skip this month's Akibento because, well, 
Well, the theme is monster. I got the page up in front of me here. And um, some of the anime that's featured is Tokyo Ghoul. I don't watch that. Soul Eater, never watch that either. And One Punch Man, which I do watch, but I'm not going to buy a box just for one anime. Which is unfortunate, but there we go. And the... Um, what's it called? Wizarding World Crate should be coming soon. Well, it'll take a while because it's a international thing. So it'll take a while to get here. But it normally always comes late. Because it should have come earlier. Like this week or last week. Considering it's supposed to come at the end of every month. And it's the 30th right now. So slight annoyance that it always comes late for me but it always depends where you live so I'm not too fussed about that. Now for I'm going to put in I, I recorded something, forgot what it was but I'm going to put that clip in. It's something I think I bought from eBay or something. I'll put that clip in around this video somewhere. And now look at what I got from eBay. Okay, so first of all is the Reverse Holo Charizard because I never pulled it and obviously it's from the Evolution set. Next is Steven from an old set. I can't remember what that was. But I'm hoping I pull the Steven's Resolve in the, the Celestial Store. Is it? No, that was it. Okay, anyway, so here is the Team Rocket's handy one. Lysander, full art, and the awesome Zorak GX, the main big card I was missing from my Shining Legends collection. So now I just still need to get Reverse Hollow Metal Energy and the Reverse Hollow Power Shadow. Then I would have completed the Master Set. It's taking me a while. Unfortunately. But there we go. Awesome. Now, on to the news for the next Pokemon Go Community Day. I figured I'd just put the at the end of these shout out videos instead of make a new video only for that, which will only like last like I don't know, a couple minutes. So I'll put it here instead. And the magical Pokemon is Beldum. No, actually, no, that doesn't sound right. The Chosen One is Beldum this time. Yes, Chosen One. So, okay. And it will be... Let me just read this out for you. Obviously in October. It's the Steel and Psychic type. And it's on Sunday, the 21st. So, I print screened or screenshot or whatever you want to call it. Uh inside the app on my obviously phone of the different time and dates so i will read it out to you you can obviously read it yourself because it will be on the picture on the screen if i time this right so obviously october 21st 2018 the asia pacific time is 12 p.m to 3 p.m jst Europe, Middle East, Africa, and India. It's 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Huh? America's in Greenland, 11 a.m. to... Oh, that was a UTC. Then... America's in Greenland, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. PDT. Okay... Though technically on the picture I got, it was, you know, the normal 10 a.m. to uh, 1 p.m. GMT. But since those ones don't actually say GMT. You know, time zones always confuse me. But anyway, if you're GST, UTC, or PDT, it's up there for you. Whatever. I mean, 
you can sort out or look on the link. I'll include a link of the page. But you should know the page by now. You just type in Pokemon Go Community Day event or you'll find it on Google. Okay, anyway, the features. Oh, we're verging almost um, nine minutes and a half. Okay, let's, let's quickly finish before ten minutes, if we can. Uh, the features will uh, appear more frequently in the wild, obviously. The lures last three hours for the duration of the event, as normal. If you evolve Metang up to one hour after the event to obtain Metagross, it will know a special move, which they haven't released that yet. And the eggs hatch four times faster for the duration of the three-hour event. Which should be good, because I've got a total of, like, nine eggs, and I need to make more space for some more. Um, yeah, I believe that's it. There's, I don't think, anything else to really say. I'll put in a code from the, uh, uh what's it called, newsletter thing. So, how about it? So, thank you for watching, or reading, and listening. Like and subscribe for more. Ring that doorbell. Over and out.